Everyday Grammar. I'm Alice Bryant. Do you have trouble with English verb tenses? If so, you are not alone. Verb tenses can be difficult to learn in a foreign language. Different cultures think about time in different ways. Chinese, for example, has no grammatical verb tense. Other languages, like Swahili, have recent and distant past tenses. Over the next several episodes, we will talk about the verb tense system in English. Verb tenses tell us how an action relates to the flow of time. The English language divides verbs into three main tenses, present, past, and future. Those three tenses are each divided into four smaller groups, simple, progressive, perfect, and perfect progressive. There are 12 verb tenses in English, but here is the good news. Most of the time, we only use four or five of them. To make almost all verb tenses, you have to put a form of the word have, be, or will in front of the verb. English verb tenses give many details about time and action, such as, is the action finished? And was the action repeated? It can be hard to think about time distinctions that you do not have in your own language. That is why our goal over the next several episodes is to help you understand each verb tense better. And that's Everyday Grammar.